Hello you guys. Good morning or maybe it's good evening when you guys are watching this. I thought I would do a fall get ready with me. Oh my gosh, I look so pale with these lights. I, I put like self tanner on last night on my face, but these lights always just make everything so much more dramatic. Um, I usually just like start with starting with this like eye balm. I'm gonna link everything that I use below, every single, this is like my daily routine unless like I'm gonna do like super, super natural makeup. I also have my tea with me every morning. You, most people like start their morning off with like hot coffee or like just a nice like fall drink. I have just like iced tea, but it's what I like currently and I have it in my Taylor Swift, this is so old. This is a, like the Taylor Swift Red Tervis Cup. I love Tervis Cups and I've had that one for so long. Um, so I'm gonna go in with some primer. I just thought this would be like a chit chat, kind of get ready with me. I'm not gonna like edit this like too, too much. Um, so yeah, I use this primer and basically it like turns color. So it comes out like white. You could see it's like changing color on my skin. It goes so like it gives me a little bit of a glow which is nice and it like really gives you that like filtered face look i still have like a little bit of mascara here last night was like the first time i slept with my hair not in like a silk scrunchie and i could actually see a difference like it truly like my hair was like a little frizzy this morning usually it, they come like the curls like stay better but i use invisible apple with my hair in a messy bun which by the way you guys are gonna be seeing a messy bun tutorial in this video i've been wanting to share with you guys i've been waiting to, like to do a video like this to share and i'm gonna be doing a messy bun tutorial so definitely stay tuned for that i've been literally getting so many questions on like uh, my hair and makeup recently which is why i wanted to share this video to like talk you guys step by step so i could always refer you back to this in case um i'm gonna go in with foundation this has been my go-to. I am trying the new Charlotte Tilbury one, um, but I'm not sure about that one yet. I wanna test it out a little bit more, a little bit longer to be able to like recommend it to you guys. I just don't know yet. So not meaning that it's bad, but I just have to try it out. I don't know what this foundation's gonna look like on camera because with the lights, but this is a good match. It's the Fenty foundation. I'm gonna link it below. I'm in the shade. 190 i don't know oh my gosh you can see my extensions growing out right here i am due for new extensions like soon but i'm not getting them until november if you guys don't know i do have hair extensions for volume because i lost a lot of hair but it's definitely getting a little bit better but i still get them now i feel like once you start extensions it's really hard to not like to take them out because then you really just feel like your hair is thin regardless because you just had so much volume from it I don't get them for length or anything. My length is my regular length. I do get questions on that. Um, but yeah, I really, I mean, I get, people ask me if I like the extensions. I mean, they are, a, they're definitely an adjustment um, because they're literally like the kind I get are great lengths. You could see like there's bonds. Um, so if it is like hard kind of plasticky feeling near your roots, which is like, it's an adjustment. Like I'm used to it now but you just can't like brush your hands through your hair. Like it would get caught. That's the only thing. I have my makeup bag here, by the way, I normally don't do my makeup in my closet, um, but with the lighting, I couldn't get all my lights like in front of my vanity. Very dreary and rainy day today here in PA. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna film at my desk. So I made this whole like little setup. I just threw all my stuff into a makeup bag. Um, this is an Amazon find. And then I have my Amazon mirror. <laughs> So, you know, it's my little setup here. I'm gonna take a little bit of Tarte Shape Tape and um, yeah, just go like under. This stuff is like really high coverage if you're looking for a great high coverage concealer. Make mistakes, I just wanna feel alive. All right, we're gonna use some setting powder. You guys, I talk about this so many times and I highly recommend it. If you've never tried it, it's the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter um, powder. Um, like this is for either under eyes or all over your face. So I will set all over my face. There's actually a little bit in the lid right now. So I'll tap a little bit in the, ooh, it's right onto my new marble desk. <laughs> I have like a little placemat, but it kind of got off. 
Then I'll take this powder brush. This one um, is from SL Miss Glam's brush line. She sent this to me, she's so sweet. We just did a collaboration together. This is the flat powder brush. So I will just swirl whatever's in the lid onto the brush and then literally just like powder my face. I don't like to use too much powder because then you have like your primer, your foundation, your uh, powder, then if you contour and then bronze and it's a lot of product and lots of layers. So you want to be light with your layers. Just need a little bit extra for my nose. So that's like where my makeup tends to break down the most. So this is to set your face like all over. Now under eyes, I'm kind of like now mixed thoughts on this, especially if you like film videos, maybe don't do the lavender. I'm not like filming videos like, you know, other videos today. So I think I'm gonna use this thing for out and about, but um, I'll take my damp beauty blender. I'll use the lavender powder. Um, I do think now I would recommend just like a shade, like a skin tone shade lighter. So like maybe, if you have like medium skin tone, maybe try like banana. This is the shade banana. It's a little bit lighter for under your eyes and just pat it. I don't go too heavy anymore with under eye baking. Again, just because you don't wanna have like a white powder look. But this is amazing, this powder. If you've like been afraid to use powders that you think it's gonna like settle in your fine lines around your eyes, like literally you guys, this is, this powder, I can't say enough great things. At first of all, it smells so good. But really the staying power um, this powder gives for your under eye concealer. It just really changes everything up. And I'm gonna look crazy just for a little bit because um, I have to keep this under eye. I got some on my nose. Actually, it reminded me, I do dab whatever's left over onto my nose, middle of my chin. I will brush it all away. So um, I'm actually, usually I'd probably, if I was gonna curl my hair that day, I would just start curling my hair and letting this sit. I really don't even let it sit that long. Or I could do brows, we could do brows really quickly so i take the anastasia literally you guys i've been using this forever all this makeup like i highly recommend there's not one thing i'm going to share with you guys today that i'm like well i'm not sure if i like like i actually love it it's like holy grail beauty products and yeah i'm just gonna line like it, this is literally the easiest thing you could if you make a mistake with this pencil you could literally just rub it away i don't know if you guys could tell can you tell this is the eye that's done. Well, it should just be a subtle difference. I don't even really think you guys need to get this. Just do the Fenty powders, but I'm just doing this because I know on camera, my eyes are gonna be like really bright and it's gonna bug me when I'm editing it. So <laughs> we're just gonna combat this white. See how it just blends away and it, my skin just feels like literally silk. You just rub away the baking with just any fluffy powder brush. Just rub off any excess on your nose and your chin. And now my favorite part, like literally this face needs to be warmed up because I just, it's a flat color. So I just take my Sigma. This is a large angled contour F40 brush. I will link the Sigma brushes below. I'll link everything below, as I said. I'll just dip it into my Charlotte Tilbury contour set. And then just, you know, go under my cheekbones. Um, I'm not a makeup artist or like beauty guru here on YouTube. I just do my daily routine. You guys, I cannot believe that like I saw on Instagram something yesterday that said like 85 days until Christmas or something crazy like that. Like I cannot believe we're like, I know September went like kind of slow. I just can't believe Christmas time is like around the corner. Well, as a content creator, I feel like it happens faster for me than it does for you guys, unless you like make YouTube videos or you have a blog to like slowly prep the holiday content. You guys have to let me know what you wanna see because it's always so much fun. It's always such a fun time of year. I pretty much planned out like all the fall content. I do have like maybe a room for a few more suggestions. So just let me know what you wanna see. I do have some content which I can't share yet because I'm really excited about. I have some exciting news that I wanna share with you guys. Oh, I'm getting off track. I, I'm like terrible at multitasking and like talking to you guys. Um, let me get blush but as i was saying i have some really exciting news i'm gonna be sharing so today when you see this it's gonna be tuesday um or just depending on when you watch it by the end of the week i'm going to be sharing my exciting news that i'm just i just wish i could say but i'm just gonna wait blush oh sorry this is a nars blush i got it for free in a sephora like 
reward, I think, or something like that, or being a member of the VIB program or something. Ulta does have a really good point system, though. I feel like, do you guys agree? Like, which one do you like better, Sephora's or Ulta's? Because I feel like Ulta's, like, you actually get money back on the rewards program, and then Sephora's is, like, um, you have to, you only get, like, a 100-point reward and you get a tiny mascara, which is, I wish they kind of did the money system or something like that. Okay, highlight, I'm gonna do... I'm gonna go back into the Charlotte Tilbury duo. I'm gonna go into the highlight. I'm thinking about what I wanna make for breakfast this morning. What are you like, do you guys like make breakfast at home or do you go through like a drive-through most of the time like if you're on your way to work? Like what do you guys do? I usually will make, this has been like my go-to breakfast for like ever and I really need to change it up but like I'll do a gluten-free like frozen blueberry waffle and then I'll do like chicken sausage, like a, a link or two of that. And that will be like my breakfast. And then sometimes like a banana if I'm like really hungry that day. But that's like my go-to breakfast. Like you guys have to let me know some breakfast ideas that are different. Like I'll do oatmeal sometimes. I showed you guys on my one favorites video and oatmeal. Oh my gosh, I have to get this eye primer out before I keep chatting away. Um, I'll do like a, like a, are all oatmeals gluten-free? I don't know. The one I get says gluten-free on it. Um, and I get that. And then I'll sometimes cut up fresh strawberries, like organic strawberries and um, slices of bananas. That's really good with cinnamon on top. But other than that, I really don't change it up. I should make like an avocado toast or something. I don't know. Give me some ideas, you guys. I'm not like huge into like eggs. Like they have to be like mixed into something like else like say chopped up like chicken sausage or something to give it different flavor like I can't just eat eggs on their own like I just can't so give me some ideas of what I could do you guys are like always come up with such great ideas so give me some breakfast suggestions okay I'm gonna go in with my um Too Faced natural eye palette I've been talking about this forever I take silk teddy and strip poker onto i just like blend the two lately and then i just pat it all over my eye with this sigma b55 eye shading brush just get a good first layer on and i'll do that on the other eye i take sexpresso and cashmere bunny mix together they're matte brown like one's dark and one's lighter i just mix the two and all I do is just take it here and then just like windshield wiper motions to the outer half, just half of it. Okay, and then I mentioned this in my favorites video. I'm gonna take this Laura Mercier, this is the Caviar Eye Stick. And I'll have all the color names and everything in the description box, but you just take this stick and I use it in place of eyeshadow. It gives you that smudgy look. Just go under my eyes, it just defines your eyes. This is like a bronzy color and it just really makes my eyes pop. So can you see the difference? It just like really defines my eye. So I'm gonna do that to the other eye. Okay, so that's super easy. And I just love how that looks. And then I'm just gonna take my eyeliner. Did I not bring it in this bag? Cause I just like threw everything in here. I don't think I have my eyeliner. All right, I'm gonna have to run. By the way, isn't this so cute and cozy? I'll have to show you guys that off of the day. Got the eyeliner. This is um, from Charlotte Tilbury. It's in the shade Bedroom Black. And it's on. All right, one of my favorite steps is mascara. Hence lace and lashes. Because um, I've always loved lash products. So, I have been recently using this lash primer, which is a great thing to start with because it really does it primes your eyelids to be like really full and voluminous and everything great. So I use this eye primer. And then I still love and stand by the Hourglass um, mascara. But I ran out and then I, I literally have to order that online because Sephora did not have it by me. So I am just I just got this from Walmart the other day. It's the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. It's great. I think I've used this before. And I just used this yesterday. I mean, it's definitely more of a wet formula in my opinion. I think it needs to dry out a little bit. So after a couple uses, it'll probably dry out. So I'll take the white eye primer. You just apply it like as you would a regular mascara. Give it about, don't let it get too dry. That's the key. Don't let it get dry. You'll end up with clumpy mascara. Just get it a little bit tacky. And then you're just going to apply 
the mascara right after really zigzag your brush at the root if you get mascara on your lid you take the spoolie of you like a lash spoolie or something or just like the spoolie of your um brow brush you just literally take that spoolie and then just brush it very gently across and it just comes off nothing else works besides this tip i feel like without having to take off all of the eye makeup so all right next is lips probably like one of my favorite steps i will go in with a lip liner this is the charlotte tilbury lip cheat okay and then i will go in this is a mini one i have a large size in my purse i saw this mini one i'm trying to use up this is the charlotte tilbury pillow talk literally if you are like looking for just like a great everyday shade literally get this lipstick if you've tried it let me know how you like it below then what i've been doing is taking this fenty gloss it just gives you that really polished look really hydrated um so this is the fenty gloss and then i'll just literally look at the difference i don't like to go too heavy with it I always get compliments when I wear this gloss. I don't know what it is, but it just looks so nice. All right, so now time to get this hair tamed. <laughs> Cause this is like third day hair. Okay, so I got my brush, my Invisibobble hair tie, which I will talk about in a second. All right, so I wanna try to be as like helpful as possible to you guys because I know messy buns. I remember even when I was younger, like they'd be so hard to do because they're just like a hit or miss thing. I feel like sometimes like literally for me, some days like I just, it's different, every day is different a little bit, but I think I found a technique, especially if you have like longer hair. Also, I'll, like the major, major tip that I have for you guys for messy buns is if possible is start off with like second day hair or whatever day after that. Um, because if you have first day like freshly washed hair, your hair is gonna be really silky, it's gonna be very slippery, and especially if you have like very straight hair, it's to be just real with you guys, it's gonna be very hard to do. So I would definitely have like, if you have curls left over from the day before, if you had hairspray in it, that's even better. Like more like texture, like drying product, the better, because it's gonna hold that messy bun otherwise when it's like silky and slippery hair it's just not as ideal so i just have my invisible hair tie you can get these on amazon also i'll try to link them below for you guys of where i can find the best deal on them but i have brown i have this clear one i had these in a fab fit fun box they're great so i do feel like these hold the messy bun the best and these also won't crease your hair as much so we're gonna get started okay so you want your messy bun here I'm gonna take this off my wrist you want your messy bun to start off like high like kind of more on the verge of like a cheerleader ponytail and it doesn't don't worry about it being like super slicked like obviously you could do anything that you want to do with it but when people ask me how I get my hair the way I get it I'm just explaining how I personally get it so I don't I just make sure it's not like super super slick like it's a it's okay to have, I actually want like a few like bumpy um, pieces because I don't want it to look like I tried too hard. You know, I want the effortless look. However though, if there are like really major bumps, I will like brush through like I am right now. Underneath though, I try to make sure it's pretty much slick. My hair has a lot of product in it because it's day three. So this is like ideal for a messy bun. Okay, so we have the cheerleader ponytail. We're all ready. We have the hair tie. So. What we're gonna do is wrap it once like you're going to um, put your hair in a ponytail. Now this, this step is for my longer hair girls. If you have long hair, follow this step. If not, just go, don't like go halfway like I am. Just go all the way through like another ponytail wrap, if that makes sense. Um, so you're gonna go halfway like this or just like leave about this much hair out. You see how much I have left out? Don't pull all the way through so you have like this big loop this just helps your ponytail be like perkier and stand up then you go halfway on the next loop only halfway and then you're just gonna start pulling from there and just now it's like when you just play around with it to like 
how you want it to look doesn't need to be perfect i feel like with that second loop technique especially for my longer hair girls um it just helps i feel like maybe even if you have like shorter like up to here you could try it um but just maybe try it out i haven't had anyone with shorter hair i haven't um tried it or like seen it done so i don't know i really can't say for sure so maybe you could test it out for me and let me know but okay now i have like these little hairs here so i have some bobby pins like smaller is fine or you could do a bigger bobby pin, whatever. I have bigger bobby pins from like when I was in dance. So now you're gonna take one of those pieces and cover the front of your ponytail. You wanna make sure it's covered because you don't wanna see like that plastic ponytail. The rest of those pieces, they don't have like pokey hair hanging out. And take, I just take a larger bobby pin because I have a lot of hair right there. If you have like shorter hair again, you could just use a small bobby pin, X them. One other thing that I wanna share with you guys is i'll just go like this with my hair just so that i feel like my face is a little bit more framed so pull out like those little baby hairs if you have any bring them towards your faces when i was brushing i like slick them back and if you have like little pieces here that aren't too long then pull them out as well it just looks on done and really pretty i don't know it just frames your face more so any like flyaways feel free to just like pin them down but yeah hopefully that helped you guys literally i am in this leopard sweatshirt which i've been really loving i found this recently and it's so soft you guys it's a great like loungewear sweatshirt like you could totally get out like with wearing this like out and about and then i just have like these new abercrombie sweats they're blush pink i'll show you guys um these moccasins that I have on, these are from Walmart. I just wear them inside, I don't wear them outside. They are so comfy. I shared these in my Walmart try on haul and they're like memory foam. I've been wearing these around a lot and I just thought they went with my outfit, super cute. So I'm just all cozied up today. It's just, it's just a rainy day. So I am gonna change into an actual outfit, but I thought I would share with you guys a comfy loungewear option because it's always nice to just be cozy and comfy, especially during fall. So I hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me, like kind of chit chat video. If you guys liked it, definitely give this video a thumbs up. So I know if you want to see more, comment down below your thoughts on it. And if you are new here, definitely consider hitting subscribe before heading out of this video. And I will see you guys in my next video very soon. Bye. Take down your walls and let me ooh.